Abapia Al Shali, the Deputy Managing Director of Golfcraft. I have to say a few words on the company's 40 year legacy and ongoing participation at the show. Thank you. Um, so, firstly, thank you all for being here today, and thank you to the DWTC and Dubai Boat Show organizers for inviting us uh, to participate in this press conference. Um, I would also like to congratulate the show, particularly on, um, I think, as, as uh, His Excellency mentioned, it's the 26th or 27th year of the show, but I think the show has actually been around for 30 years. We're celebrating. Oh, I said my time. Oh, your time. Uh, <laughs> So I'd like to actually congratulate the show. It's quite a large uh, milestone, and, and um, there's not much more I can say besides what, what you said. We've been uh, supporters since the beginning, since it was a, a very small indoor show, um, and we've got some great stories from, from back then, and we believe in the show. Um, and as we do every year, we will be having um, quite a large stand with a pretty good uh, showing of about 12 boats and yachts from the Majesty, uh, yachts, Nomad yachts, uh, Oryx uh, cruisers and Silvercraft brands. And we're actually doing two world de debuts, which will be uh, really nice to see. And we're revealing a design concept for a special new super yacht. Um, I won't tell you when the launch is, you'll have to find that out. Uh, Dubai International Boat Show is an incredibly important show for us. Um, and we've been working closely not only with the show organizers, but also with the government of Dubai and other government bodies that have been working towards supporting our industry. Um, and I do really want to um, thank the Department of Economy and Tourism for everything that they've been doing. Um, they're really putting a spotlight on the UAE, um, showing marine enthusiasts around the world how this can become a vibrant yachting hub. Um, winter in Dubai, um, you know, super yacht destinations, easing regulations, um, which is really great for the industry as a whole. Um, so, and we've also seen, of course, the government support throughout Expo, throughout the pandemic, uh, everything the government has been doing to push not only manufacturers locally, but also pushing Dubai as, an, in, as a tourist destination and keeping businesses thriving here. So we appreciate all of the efforts that have been put through. Um, we really believe that Dubai should be firmly on the itinerary of yachts and yachting enthusiasts around the world. And I think there's a lot that we can be doing and we can be doing together to continue to grow that. So, um, Alongside that, cementing our, um, shall we say, the value that we see in the Dubai International Boat Show, we're also using the show as a platform to kick off our 40th year anniversary. So this year marks Gulfcraft's 40th year anniversary. We are preparing a year-long, um, shall we say, celebration. Uh, and we will be kicking off a new logo and uh, other little bits and pieces at the show. So we invite you all to come and see what we have going on in our stand. We're, um, as I mentioned earlier, we're revealing two new uh, boats at the show, one from our Nomad brand and one from our Silvercraft brand. We are also going to be showcasing publicly for the first time our Majesty 120 which was not uh, open for public viewing in, in a format like a boat show uh, because it was launched, of course, as we all know, during the, the pandemic. Um, on the 9th of March, the first day of the show, we'll be having uh, a little review of our new concept super yacht, and we invite you all to come see that. Um, we have... Uh, we have been working throughout the pandemic and we have seen that there is a real hunger in the market for boats. So I really believe that this show comes at an opportune moment and I believe that it will be a very positive show and look forward to seeing clients, brokers, other industry people that we haven't had the chance to sit and see in a very long time. And we're all really excited gearing up. But show fever is really taking hold of the yard, and uh, we're excited to see everybody at the show next week. So thank you. With regards to the Dubai International Boat Show, it happens at a different time of season. So if you see the major shows, there's Khan, Monaco, Fort Lauderdale, one after the other, they're all in the autumn, whereas this show happens in the spring. So it's pre-charter season in the Middle East, in the middle, in the um, 
Mediterranean. But uh, on the other side, it's also the premier uh, boat show in all of Asia. So you will not get a higher level show anywhere else in Asia. So it draws attention from a lot of different places. It's also a major show for a lot of the Australian buyers, so Asian buyers, Australian buyers, and of course the GCC, Middle East generally. So um, it is slightly different. Everybody has, you know, each boat show has its unique features. Uh, of course, it's also an interesting show because it is uh, throughout all of the leisure marine lifestyle. So there's no focus on just super yachts or mega yachts, but you have everything that's around the marine lifestyle. So it draws in all of those types of enthusiasts. Of course, for us, for Govcraft, it's our home show, it's our backyard, so we're, we're, we're supporters of the show. But it has those unique features that, that um, differentiate it. It was one of the best years, um, not only, of course, here in the UAE, but globally for the yacht market. So across, across the world, I think, um, all of the boat builders here can tell you that we've got our order books filled for the next year and a half, if not two or three years. Um, and it was because it's not just people with money, but people who also are looking for security, safety, privacy, and um, the pandemic really shifted people's visions to where they wanted to spend their money and how they wanted to spend their time. So family time, private time, uh, going somewhere safe and secluded became a priority. So I think we saw a shift in book buying. <laughs> عايزين عن الشكر بكلف كرافت خاصة في المعرض لأن الجلف كرافت هم الداعمين الحقيقيين وهم العنصر الأساسي والاستراتيجي في المعرض ليس من اليوم وليس من الأمس ولكن منذ بداية أول معرض التواجد الدعم صد أي نقص لأنهم هم الأكثر مشاركة والأكثر فعالية والأكثر تعاون وكل الشكر لقلب فرد